What's up, what's up, and welcome to Stick It. My name is Lindsay Lee Hobson, and I'm an inspirational speaker and marketing professional who's starting a revolution for young adults. And today I wanted to talk to you about opportunities. You know, these are things that come into your life and things that you get asked to do, and there's these things that sometimes um, present themselves to you, and maybe you weren't looking for something different, and maybe someone's just said, hey, I'm running this workshop, or hey, um, I've got this class going on, or hey, I'm attending this. I would love for you to come along. Maybe it's just an opportunity of chance. But often when our brain comes up against something like that, it thinks of all the reasons we shouldn't do it, because our brain is programmed to keep us safe. So if we're looking at something that's a little bit uncomfortable, say your friend asks you to work in, hey Dan, it's just popped up that you're watching. Say your friend asks you to come to a class with them, or say you get asked to speak, um, like I did the other week, or say um, you get asked to do something that makes you uncomfortable, your brain will come up with all the reasons that you shouldn't do it. It's an absolute pro. Hey Nate, it's just come up that you're watching. Um, it's an absolute pro at keeping you safe. That's what it's programmed to do. It's an old survival technique. And one of the um, purposes of that, other than survival, is to keep you where you are right now because it goes if you step outside that door there could be predators there could be things they're gonna eat you take you down harm you it's looking to keep you where you are to keep you safe and something that you can do to actually overcome that is say yes and work out how later because for example I um, one of the things that I had that came up every time I got offered something that made me uncomfortable that my brain perceived would um, put me in danger was that, no, I can't do that because if I shake things up too much, thanks Dan, Dan's just to keep up the awesome work. You too as well. I'm really looking forward to being on your podcast one day soon, Metaminds. It's absolutely incredible podcast. If any of you guys have heard of it or haven't heard of it, jump on Spotify. That's where I listen to it. It's really, really good. Um, so one of the things that, lost my train of thought now, sorry. Oh, one of the things that my brain used to do to keep me safe and still does, I'll be honest with you, still does at times. You know, an opportunity would present itself and go, I don't think you should do that because you're, um, you shake things up too much and the people you love might not love you when you come back. So when I got asked to speak at a conference in New Zealand, which I was at last week, um, my brain went, oh, I don't think you should. You know, I think maybe if you do that, you come back, maybe everyone will have forgotten about you and you won't matter the people, to the people that matter to you anymore. And you know what? Complete and utter rubbish. I came back and everybody's still here. Everyone's proud of me and happy for me. I'm really glad that I went out there and did it. So often it will throw up things at you that actually aren't keeping you safe at all. In fact, holding you back. So today I want you to ask yourself, what questions or what opportunities are you saying no to that you could be saying yes to? And why are you saying no to them? Because if it's something that's not actually keeping you safe, it's something that's not actually real, Maybe shake it up a little bit. Maybe get out there and do something a little bit uncomfortable. Try something new. So at the end of the day, you don't have to have all the answers, but you do have to be willing to say yes, to take the risk to grow your comfort zone and try something new. Because if you're looking to make a difference, and I think it was Einstein that said, great things don't come from your comfort zone. Now, if you're looking to join me in the live that's going on in the Stick It Facebook group in about an hour's time, where I'm going through everything I learned at the conference and all the amazing people I met and what they spoke about and the common thread that they had throughout there and every single speech, what these successful people do every day to make them successful, make sure that you jump in the Facebook group in an hour's time or um, a request to join, that's the word I'm looking for, because I'll approve that and make sure you're in there and I'll be going through all that information. And the other thing is, if you are saying no to opportunities all the time and you're finding that um, you could be going out there and making more of a difference than you currently are, I now offer a complimentary 10 minute chat with me to see if I can help you in that 10 minutes. It's a power chat. So if you're interested in that, send me a direct message and I will shoot you the link to schedule that in. But between now and when I speak to you next, remember to stick it.